So we got a de-escalation, obviously, challenge in front of us. There's one thing to get elected leaders to de-escalate, uh, and then there's the issue of the social media companies that uh, make money amplifying uh, all of this. What's the bigger challenge? Getting Republican leaders to de-escalate or figuring out how to get these tech companies to stop amplifying this garbage? They're both humongous challenges. On the Republican side, it is making sure that whether you're a Democrat, Republican, or independent, when you go cast your vote, you don't go vote for an election denier or the people that are coddling them. Um, and you don't listen to Donald Trump because he is the one that said to go wild and march down the mall. Uh, when it comes to uh, the social media companies, I'm one of the people, as you know, that's been way out there on this because I think that it is one thing if someone is posting stuff on the internet, um, it is another when they're making money amplifying it. And that is the difference. So I would reduce their immunity, their section 230 immunity it's called, mm -hmm. um, and then that would allow people to go after them when they are making money off of amplifying right. election falsehoods, hate speech, you know it. And of course, there's been interest in both the Democratic and Republican side in making a change to that. And let me be clear. Number one is to go after this perpetrator who right. committed a violent, violent crime. Uh, number two is to change what we're doing to give more security to our elected officials, no matter what party they're in. Number three is to make sure we're not electing more election deniers who are following Donald Trump down this road. And then number four, yes. Once we get some people in who care about our democracy, we have to do something about this amplification right. um, of this election-denying hate speech that we see on the internet. Now that Elon Musk runs Twitter, do you trust him? Uh, no, I do not. What uh, What's your biggest fear of him running this um, run, running this social media platform? Well, I think you have to have some content moderation because when you look at what this guy was looking at, he was looking at uh, just horrendous things you don't even want to talk about on your show. He was posting anti-Semitic tropes. He was showing memes um, that showed violence and all of this election benign uh, pro-Trump MAGA crowd rhetoric. Right. That's what we're dealing with here. And if... Elon Musk has said now that he's going to start a content moderation board. That was one good sign, but I continue to be concerned about that. I just don't think people should be making money right. off of passing on this stuff that's a bunch of lies. You couldn't do that on your network, nope. Chuck. Nope. You couldn't. Yeah, you, you guys that's look right. at commercials that's and right. you decide if they are false or not. That is not a requirement of these companies, and we have to change the requirements on these companies. They are making money off of us. They are making money off of this violence. There's no doubt. The tech companies are a huge, huge problem in this, and they've got to take some responsibility. Senator Klobuchar, uh, Democrat from Minnesota, thank you for coming on and sharing your perspective. Thanks, Chuck.